my people <laughs> it has happened though uh, ben republic lawyers battled over extradition in court over the extradition of sunday go Ben's lawyer were yesterday locked in a legal tussle over attempt by the federal government to get Yoruba Nation activists. Chief Sunday Adeyemo fondly called Sunday Igbo extradited to Nigeria. Igbo's lawyers insisted that since he, Igbo, did not commit any offense against Benin Republic, he should be set free, arguing that any attempt to send him back to Nigeria will endanger his life. Considering invasion of his house in Ibadan by the Department of State Service DSS operated last month, prior to the start of proceedings at the Corp the Appeal, the Kotonou in Benin Republic yesterday, journalists and a good number of his supporters were barred from witnessing the proceedings. It should be recalled that the Nigerian government is pressing Benin's authorities to extradite Igbo to Nigeria. Recall also that Igbo and his wife were arrested at Cardinal Bernardin International Airport, Kotonou, while on their way to Germany last Monday. But his wife, Rocco, was released last weekend and her passport handed over to her. Earlier yesterday, the police in Kotonou dispersed Igbo's supporters who had traveled there to witness his trial. The security personnel, Vanguard Len, arrived at the court premises in two Elos vans, insisting that everyone, including journalists, vacate the premises. One of the police officers told journalists that the president of the court called and ordered that they should force everyone out of the court except lawyers. All the officers wore black masks and wielded heavy guns as they ejected supporters and journalists out of the court premises. Igbo was said to have been brought into the court as early as 7 a.m. but was reportedly ushered into the prosecutor's chambers thus depriving the public the opportunity of seeing him. Wow, journalists not allowed into the courtroom following the trial, journalists, monarchs and supporters who came to the court for the case were barred from witnessing the hearing. A source at the court premises in Kotonou told Vanguard the press was not allowed into the courtroom either. But more Yoruba's leaders and monarchs yesterday threw their weight behind Yoruba activists. As the Hare on Okanka 4 of Yoruba land, Iba Gani Adams yesterday rallied 10 prominent Benin Republic monarchs. Benin security operatives removed leg chains anchored from Igbo, giving an update on Igbo's case in a Kotonou court. The communications manager for Ilano Modua, Maxwell Adele, said Igbo was not under any immigration probe in Benin Republic. He said, We are pleased to inform all Yoruba people and well wishers that. The security operatives in Benin Republic have removed leg chain and handcuffs from Chief Igbo since Saturday evening. Chief Igbo's wife has now been granted access to meet her husband three times daily. Medical personnel provided by our legal team have examined Chief Sunday Adeyemo. We irritated uh, that the Chief Igbo is not under any immigration related probe in Benin Republic. Can you see? So the e Benin Republic are acting under. Uh, the report Nigerian government gave to them that Igbo is being wanted. So it's, n it's not even the case of a fake passport or uh, a Benin Republic passport or whichever. Chief Adeyemo will appear in court this uh, morning, uh, though he has done that already. We have supporters from Nigeria North border coming to the court premises in Benin. Kindly stay in Nigeria and support with prayers. That's coming from uh, the monarchs and the, some of uh, the agitators and people that were around Igbo. Hmm, Ghani Adams rallies Benin monarchs behind Igbo. Meanwhile, the Arena Kanka for of Yoruba land, Iba Ghani Adams, has rallied 10 prominent Benin Republic monarchs in the support of Yoruba nation agitator. The monarchs were assigned to play both traditional and fatherly roles in ensuring that Igbo's rights to freedom was protected without abuse or, or misjudgment. Adams, in a statement by his special assistant on media, Kende Adiremi, said it is the duty of the Area Nokanka for of Yoruba land and that of other traditional rulers to support Igbo at this trying time, maintaining that the case against Igbo should not be taken with levity. He said, I am not comfortable with the way the federal government is handling Sunday Igbo's case and I have made my position known to the world. 
I have also rallied over 10 prominent Yoruba monarchs in the Republic of Benin to discuss the possibility of getting a go off the hook and ensure that he regains his freedom unconditionally. Going forward, I think we must stand by him because we are all in the struggle for the liberation of our race, which is the Yoruba race, and whatever happens to Igbo happens to all of us in Yoruba. And the journey, though, didn't begin with him, will definitely not end with him because the agitation for self-determination is our legitimate right, which we are ready to follow through with all our strength that is coming from Are Onokanka for Iba Ghani Adams. Adams also said the move to seek the monarch's intervention became imperative because of the sensitive nature of this case, adding that the 10 prominent monarchs were in the best position to work with the authorities in the Republic of Benin to ensure there was justice for Igbo. Leading the 10 monarchs in the emergency meeting held for the embattled Yoruba nation agitator was the Alajong of Ajonland or Ba Sinon Adekilumo. Others were Alajashe of Ajashe Portonovo or Ba Alajashe Onikoyi Onitowe of Towe Land or Ba Shitu Adeleke Ologumba of Ogumba or Ba Dio Ogunju Onyorioje of Orio Land or Bade Awelede Saloma Onimase of Maseland or Ba Akere Kuru Palace Royal the Semi Crake Sa Majesty Roy D. Crake Police Royal de Ilase Sa Majesty Roy D. Ilase O Loyo R. Ogunto Saint Taye the Tolulashe of Ajashe Kingdom Port Novo and Aremo Onikoi are Besson Kefa, a Jashe Ile, Ye Ile Yoruba, among others, were well. Also, the Pan Yoruba Social Political Organization, Afeni Ferry, commended the Ulubadon of Ibadon of Basalio Adetunji, a J. Oguniso, for sending a delegation to Kotonu Benin Republic, where Mr. Sunday Adeyemo is facing trial. Adeyemo Igbowu is the arrowhead of activists agitating for a Yoruba nation. Afeniferi's acting leader and national publicity secretary Pa Ayo Ade Banjo and Jari Ajayi commended the monarch for raising the delegation to be at the court where the Yoruba agitator is being tried in Kotonu. Afeniferi also commended the honor of Ife Oba Enito Ogunwusi of Jajatu who last week set up the Onika course meant to work on various issues pertaining to Yoruba interests, including the travails currently faced by Igbo. Can you see that even monarchs and Yoruba are in support of Sunday Igbo, unlike the southeast or southeastern part of Anese that never supported at the long run, but later when they see, ah, this thing is getting out of hand, we need to support him. But Let's watch and cross our fingers. Thanks for listening and God bless you.